You can't expect people to support you if you don't support them too, right? You pause, you give people time to think about what you've just said. When you pause, it gives you time to listen. And when you learn how to pause, it gets rid of all your ums and your ahs and your non-words. The most unhappy people I've met in my life are extremely ambitious, lazy people. Mm. Let me say this one more time. <laughs> extremely ambitious, lazy people. Yeah. These are people that could do something massive, but they hate the work. They want the shortcut, they're lazy. Here's a thought for you today. A good friend will not always praise you. They will tell you what else to do, so you keep getting better, even if it hurts you. You know what strongly motivates me to keep working harder? My bills. It takes self-motivation to really alter your life. And you don't want to give self-motivation away to somebody else and make it somebody else motivating you. The guy says, boy, if somebody just come by and turn me on. What if they don't show up, right? <laughs> See, you got to have a better plan for your life. I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for, for never quitting. That's something you'll get a lot of hate for if you say it out loud. Your job as a parent is to not be your child's friend until they're grown. Your job as a parent is to run out of jobs. You do your kids' dishes until they're able to do it, then you don't do it for them anymore. You do your kids' laundry until they're able to do it themselves, and then you don't do it for them anymore. You pay their bills when they're teenagers until they have a job and they're able to pay it for themselves, and then you do not pay them anymore. Your job as a parent is to teach your kids how to live without you. And not many are blessed enough to have this. But once they're grown and you're out of jobs, then they can be your best friend. I used to struggle with self-esteem and my thing was I focused on being smart and I just wasn't that smart. I focused on being right and I was wrong a lot. And so it created this weird thing in my life where I would constantly try to put myself around people who are less and less intelligent so that I could feel good about myself. And the bad news is it's actually a really good strategy for that. Right. Being around people that were less intelligent than me really did make me feel good. Like I felt good about myself. But I literally referred to myself at the time as the king of remedial jobs because those were the only jobs that I could really shine at. And it wasn't until I realized I can actually change what I build my self-esteem around. And I can start building my self-esteem around instead of being right or being smart, being a learner and being willing to admit when I'm wrong. And so the thing that I began to build my self-esteem around was being willing and able to stare at my inadequacies. How do you handle the coming winters and the disappointments and the down times? Well, you can't get rid of January by tearing it off the calendar. But here's what you can do. You can get stronger, you can get wiser, and you can get better. When you finally see me with everything I deserve, just remember, I waited my turn. Everything starts with thought. So you must be wise and careful what you think about, because that starts everything. The first million is hard, but the second million is inevitable. It's not becoming a millionaire that's important, it's the person that you must become in order to become a millionaire. You have to become a completely different person. You have to, you have to develop character beyond 99% of the people in the world. You have to develop honesty and discipline and, and quality relationships and, and the willingness and the ability to work and set priorities and, and all kinds of stuff because without that, nothing is possible. You're, you're quite different from other people and you shouldn't be comparing yourself to them because they're not like you, you know? They, they don't have your family, they don't have your temperament, they don't have your troubles, they don't have your abilities. The only, the only person that has those is you. And this is why one of the rules, I think it's rule four, is compare yourself to who you were yesterday and not to who someone else is today. Here's the key to discipline. Start with the little disciplines, get excited over the little disciplines, and get right on those because those will lead to the big ones. You can't handle the big challenges in life unless you take on the little ones. Make a list of all the things you can do, get right on those, discipline yourself for those, both for the results and for the muscle and for the practice. 
so that when life hands you some big challenges, you'll be ready, you'll have the muscle. But see, if you don't handle the small ones, you can't take care of the big ones.